Today, I will be taking you along with me in printing a clothing brand's t-shirts from start to finish. My name is Bobby Tanak and I'm the owner of Aesthetic Imprints, which is a custom apparel company specializing in screen printing. Today, we have an order of 60 t-shirts with a one color print on the front of the shirt and the client also upgraded to get the fully retail finished look with personalized neck tags and folding and bagging each shirt to give it that retail finished look. Let's go. Now, here's the order that we have today, which is a one color screen print on the front, as you can see right here, and it's on some Hanes beefy tees with the 10 inch print across the front, and it's just a one color print. And in order to get this vectorized, you wanna take it and get it printed on some transparency sheets like this here. And then you want to make it black because everything is supposed to be printed on black. And I'll show you exactly why when we go to the next step. And this is the cut. This is the tag that I designed design for the client. As you can see, it shows the design right here, the size, how to wash it, the material, what cotton ratio it is, where it's made, and also the personalized look with the client's website right there. So let's go get this. When that is all said and done, you want to print it on a clear piece of transparency film like this, where the design is right there and then the tags are right there as well. So let's go burn this onto a screen. So the next step of the process is to line the transparency design up to the marks that you have and tape it onto the screen and put it in here so that all the fluorescent lighting can cure the design onto the screen. Now, unfortunately, this part of the process, you do have to turn on a safe light, which is a yellow light, because the, dis the screens cannot see or be exposed with the regular lighting, or else it'll screw up the design and won't burn properly. So let's turn the safe light on now. There you have it. Forgive me if you can't see me, but I can't do anything about this process. Now that the safe light is on, I can safely unload or unveil the screens from the drying rack because it won't get exposed to regular lighting. So this is when you wanna take your screens and choose the right cache mesh mount, cache, right mesh mount for your design, which in this case is gonna be 156. And 220 for the neck tags. Now that you got your screens, you wanna tape up the design, add some tape to it, so that it can stick onto the screen. You don't need to overdo it. Just four pieces seems to be the magic for me. Line it up, make sure it's centered. Get your screen. And line it up. And now that that is on the shirt, now that that is on the screen, let's expose. Now you want to sit it on there and add a pad so that so that this can pressure down the design so that it burns properly. Now, once the screen is exposed, you take it and run to your washout boot and make sure it's light safe as well. What you do, this might get loud because of the pressure washer, but what you do is spray the design and let it soak in for a minute, 30 seconds, and then you spray it out and you'll see the design just fly away. Mic warning. As you see, I barely even sprayed water and you could already slowly start to see the design. Let me adjust the camera. There you go. Then you want to soak up both sides. And then you let it sit for a couple seconds. After it sits for a couple seconds, now you can go ahead and spray it out with the pressure washer and you'll see the design just fly off. And there you have it, folks. 
All right, guys, what you want to do now is grab all the shirts. This is not all of them, but you want to start unboxing them, checking them in, have your list here so you make sure all the sizes are there so everything is there. So let's go do that. There you guys have it. All the shirts are here. There's 30 in white, 30 in black. And we are going to do an ink swap, which I'll take you along with me. So let's go to the print press. All right, guys. Now that we got our shirts stacked right there, if you can see behind me, you want to get your dried up screen and align it to the center marks. So I'll do that. And then you want to tape up the edges. So let's get a closer look. So when I say line it up, I mean line up this middle, make sure it's straight so that the print is straight, and then you just want to grab the tape, tape up the edges so that excess ink does not escape from the screen. Oh, and, and you do the same for the other screen. Now, what you want to do is grab the desired ink. So, in this case, we will be printing the white ink first. So, we'll grip the white ink and get loaded up. Now, you want to get the white ink and open it up. Make sure you wear gloves. Well, I do, because you don't want it to get on your hands. And this is the same hands you're gonna touch the shirts with. And you don't want ink going up the way. Put that down. Grab it. And spread on a decent amount. Alright guys, we just did our first test print. I do, I do a test print with everything to make sure everything is working and it's printing perfectly. And here's the test print that we're printing today for the game. And we do a stretch test with everything. So as you can see, when I stretch this design, nothing is cracking or anything to make sure that it is not gonna come off in the wash. And I'm, and I'm stretching with a lot of pressure. So that's a good sign. So let's start production. Right, now I'm going to give you guys a closer look at one of the shirts being printed. Basically, you add it to the palette and you line it up to that line. And you got to make sure that the shirt is straight. Then you flood the design with ink. And then you press the ink through. Just like that but we do a double print just like I'm sure a lot of people should um, so what you do is let it dry over there under our flash dryer for a couple seconds and then you come back around with it and do final opaque hit and as you can see it's bright and looks perfect and now you let it go through the conveyor dryer to give it a final cure And 
now it's all going through the conveyor dryer to give it a final cure so that it lasts through the wash. And now I just wash the screen so while it dries, I'll get ready for the other print. And just like that, the black with the white print is finished. Came out super clean, super crisp. And now let's do the neck tags. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how to do custom tags. We add it right there, place it right there. And this one should just rip off just like that. Just like that, that looks perfect. All right, you guys, now once all the shirts are done, stack them up with the correct sizing, like I have them here. And then now you just fold and bag them individually. So basically it's pretty simple, but it's just tedious. So you fold each shirt and then put it in a bag and then put a size sticker on the outside. So let's go. So here's what the shirts look like when they are folded and bagged. They look really clean retail finished look this is very good to ship got the information right there as well with the custom tags and overall it's just perfect there you have it guys that's how you screen print for a clothing brand from start to finish the one color print came out amazing and of course the neck tags the finishing piece to the puzzle but one more finishing piece to the puzzle is a retail bag look with the custom tag here and the imprint there. So this is fully branded to the customer's design and brand, which is great. If you're watching this and or you are interested in starting a clothing brand, start now. What are you waiting for? To consider this a sign and stop procrastinating and get off your couch, get off your bed, get off your chair and just start. Call your local print shop or even call me. I'd be more than willing to help you. We can also ship it to you. But if, if that's too much, just call a local print shop and get your business up and running. Because once, once you start is when the ball is going to start rolling. But the ball ain't going to roll unless you start. So start now. And if you're just a screen printer trying to learn or get tips, or even if you're beyond me, which you probably are, thanks for tuning in. I hope this was entertainment for you and you got a little bit of tips out of this. And yeah, my main reason for creating this video is to help you brand builders out there. Start your brand because I know there's a lot of you out there just like me. I'm a procrastinator when it comes to building a brand. But you guys, you guys got to start. I'm giving you the resources. I'm giving you the knowledge. I'm giving you the quick videos. Just start now. Get off your ass and start. Get the ball rolling and go create an empire. That's a wrap for this video. But if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll like this video and this video. And please, if you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. Give me run them likes up and subscribe. Run them subscribers up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm always cooking up videos like this. So if you like these videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.